welcome back to Hi Coco's channel. Hi Coco. Today we are going to talk about the topic of keratosis pilaris. Many of our beauties have asked us about this skin condition and if it's possible to treat it. KP seems to be so hard to eliminate. However, there are some tips and tricks to treat KP. What is KP? I'm going to explain the KP very briefly in an easy way to understand. KP stands for keratosis pilaris. It is also called strawberry skin. You can see the little white and red bumps commonly found around your arms, legs and back. It can also develop through the growth of ingrown hair follicles. It is a long-term skin condition that causes rough patches or small acne-like bumps on the skin. What is the main cause of KP? Number one, genetic issue. KP is often a genetic condition and can be hereditary. If one of your parents has KP, there is a high chance of having KP on you. Two, dry skin. It can also develop over time from the skin trouble like dry skin and even having atrophy. This is because these skin troubles cause a buildup of keratin, which can block the opening of the hair follicles. Three, over scrubbing. KP can also develop if the skin cells are physically damaged. This also means if you over scrubbing your skin or popping the bumps, skin cells will be damaged and it leaves the scars. All these can cause the KP to develop as dead skin cells are not able to remove naturally and that result in KP. If you understand what is KP and what causes the KP, it's really easy to treat. So how do we get rid of KP? Number one, using chemical exfoliant. As I mentioned before, it is really dangerous and it's not a good way to scrub your skin physically. You need a chemical exfoliant that contains the ingredients like AHA, alpha hydroxy acid and BHA, beta hydroxy acid. These ingredients help to break down the dead skin cells to prevent the blockage of the hair follicles opening. So this means your skin cell won't damage but the dead skin cells will be removed. Number two, moisturize. This is very important. Even if you're using the chemical exfoliant to remove the dead skin cells, instead of using physical exfoliants, skin tends to dry up after removing the dead skin cells. So it is really important to apply the enough moisturizer after. I recommend moisturizers that include ceramide, hyaluronic acid, and urea. The ceramide keeps the skin moist by strengthening the skin barrier. Hyaluronic acid is the main component of what keeps the skin structure that keeps the skin hydrated. And urea is a natural component of your skin's tissues that able to deeply moisturize to soften the skin cells as it enhances retentions of the moisture in the skin. Not only is it able to treat the dry and rough skin conditions, but it helps to remove the dead skin cells, making it an ideal ingredient to use for KP. Speed up the skin cells renewal. To speed up the skin cells natural ability to shed the dead skin cells, I also recommend to use the product with the ingredients like retinol or formal vitamin A. However, I suggest being extra cautious of using this ingredient. This means avoiding use of the retinol with AHA or BHA like chemical exfoliant ingredient and not to use it during pregnancy. So, 7 days KP removal challenge. So for the next few days, I'm going to use Ta-da! Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Acne Clear Body Cleanser. This Sun By Me body cleanser is one of our top selling body cleanser and so many people love this brand and this product. And I found that this product is suitable for this challenge. Not only does that it contains the chemical exfoliant ingredients, but it also contains the soothing ingredients like Centella Aesthetica and Hotunia Cotara Extract. And in addition, I'm going to use the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner after and to see if it makes the difference to my skin. So I'm going to do 7 days KP Skin Challenge. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm back home now. Before I start my challenge, I need to share my dry, rough skin. I'm very embarrassing to show you how bad KP I have. So this is my skin texture. Very, very dry. You can see all the dry patches and I've got ingrown hairs and the red dots around. I'm going to be using the Pyongyang Milk Kit and Body Lotion to hydrate my skin. 
So this one contains five different types of hyaluronic acid that penetrate to the deep tissue of the skin faster and three different types of the ceramide that will strengthen the skin barrier to prevent any further moisture loss. Also it contains the soothing properties like Centella Aesthetica and Altamecia Extract. This one highly moisturized but it doesn't leave any sticky feeling after. I hope this challenge helps to reduce down the appearance of KP. <laughs> So I've just washed my body with some by me AHA BHA PHA body cleanser. I thought it's gonna be very harsh or drying my skins out. It's because it contains AHA BHA PHA, the chemical exfoliant ingredient. But amazingly, it's quite moisturizing and it's not drying out at all. And that makes my skin really smooth. And to boosting up the effect of the exfoliants, I'm going to use the Miracle Toner. Hyunggangyo Kids Baby Lotion. Like removing KP is all about removing the dead skin cells and moisturizing. So it's really simple and easy, but it takes time. I can still see my strawberry skin here, but it's very soft. Yeah. Day two. A lot smoother than before. With my KP Removal Challenge coming to the end. Yeah. I'm so excited to share my thoughts and experiences to our beauties. Doing this challenge for 7 days is quite a short time to see the significant differences. However, I can definitely see a difference and the results are super. First of all, my skin feels much smoother than before. By exfoliating and moisturizing daily, I can definitely say it has helped to reduce my KP. The bumps that the KP has caused don't look as permanent as before, but there is still some pigmentations left. I also see and feel less dry patches on my skin, which has made my skin feel less itchy. Overall, my skin feels and looks much, much, much smoother and softer as well. I'm surprised that in 7 days, my skin condition has improved a lot just following these tips and tricks. Using just 3 steps meant this challenge wasn't complicated for me to follow and complete every day. 
I just needed to spend an extra three minutes in a bathroom. I feel like this routine is easy to follow and really simple steps. So I think I can continuously doing it in the future. During summertime, as my pores are enlarged from the high temperature, my KP worsened, which prevent me from wearing the short sleeves. But from now on, I don't need to cover them in this hot summer. I hope our beauties try out this method to achieve clear and smooth skin as part of your New Year's resolution. So this is my thoughts and result of my 7 days KP removal challenge. If you've got any further questions, please leave the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye beauties, let's be pretty!